Remember when we first met Sean? He just used to watch that video of me and Dan's like all right, so it's time to take the Integra for the roll cage today. And then on the way back, we'll get the MR2 and have a look, see what the crack is. Taking the doors off and the wings off just to make it a bit easier for them. Uh, it's not raining today, so I didn't feel that bad about taking the car without any uh, outside protection. But hopefully it's not raining when I pick it up as well. Hmm, very nice. All right, not too much video at the minute. I'll uh, pick this up in a little while once I get on the road and get sorted. Chuck's off to a car show, bastard. Oh well. Boy. Right, we're good to go to uh, Doncaster someplace. It's just south of Doncaster where we're going, Ark. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing any videoing while I'm there. Don't really want to put the guy under the spot, but uh, if there's any opportunity, I'll grab it. If not, I'll, I don't know, I'll update you when I drop it off and then we'll go and get the MR2. Sound good? Let's go. All right, we've arrived at Ark. I'm not going to show you too much in there because uh, Sam doesn't want me to show you his poor Lee K9, but there's some interesting stuff going on. Let me just show you something quick. Hmm, what's going on here then? Why is there a Ford Fusion with a Honda badge on it? It's got something to do with the chap in the white t-shirt there, eh? But maybe when I come back to pick the Integra up, we, uh, we might have something here that I can show you. But apparently Integra's only take a couple of days, so maybe not. Hmm, type out a fusion, anyone? Alright, so I'm just leaving Ark now. Uh, there wasn't a lot to show uh, just just there now, because obviously there's, there's not a lot happening, just until the cage is done. Once the cage is done, I'll show you, and then you can all you can all judge Sam and see if you think he's a good welder and a good cage builder or not. Um, yeah, I want, I've known a few people get cages done here before, and when it became time that I needed to, to get one done, um, I just thought, oh, I'll just take it there then, because you know, there's a few people, mainly through Hondas. I've not known people with Hondas go here and sample into his Hondas himself, so um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be a good job, but I'll show you when it's done. Next job for us today is to go and get the MR2, um, get it loaded up, get it up to the unit, and have, and have a look. Just, just have a look, try and start it, see if it'll start. If not, see where it's pissing fluids from and see what fluids it's pissing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go do that. I'll see you when I get back up home. Probably take me about an hour and a half, so I'll see you then. All right, we've arrived back. There's the MR2, as you can see. I've had a little turn of events. Uh, the MR2 actually started up, and you know, it didn't seem that. They, obviously, all, all I did was took it out of the garage and then just drove it straight onto the trailer, the wrong way, admittedly. But I just wanted to get it on. I didn't want it cutting out halfway through or anything like that. But yeah, it, it started up and it seems like it might be okay, but why would it stop then? Why would it cut out? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's get it inside. We'll chuck it on the ramp and then um, we can have a look underneath, see if there's been any anything leaking or we, we can have a, you know, a good look around it and hopefully find something. Uh, but yeah, it just started straight up, so very strange. Hmm, what could be wrong with you, sir? Maybe it's just throwing a paddy because it didn't want to go. That's most likely, isn't it? I don't want to go, don't make me go. Okay, we've got the key. We're going to see if it starts. A bit of parkour to get in the car. All is good. Right, me shot what are you going to do? Are you going to fire? Let me say it started up first time, last time. Problem concerning. Oh, yeah, and in case you were wondering what I was doing, yeah, boy, that's all I was doing. And then I drove it home and it, it stopped working, didn't like the horn. Hmm. I 
guys, I've just completed my first visual inspection on the car while it's been on the ramp. And uh, there's, there's nothing too untoward. I looked at some of the weaknesses that I know about, you know, some of the, the pipes or whatever. I've just, I've just been looking for issues or signs of things leaking or signs of anything. <laughs> seems, it seems fine. And I did put 20 quid of fuel on it on the way in as well, which, because I thought at the time when it cut out, I thought, oh, it's just fuel because it was quite low. And uh, the fuel gauge on this thing's a bit, I think just Toyotas in general have, every time, I'll say this, 90s Toyotas at least seem to be terrible. But then again, so are EGs and EKs and DC2. So must be a thing of the times, but that's not important because it's got fuel in it now. It started up fine. Um, all the levels are everything look all right. The only thing I've not checked yet is the oil. I've not, I've not visually checked, I've not took the cap off or anything like that to have a look at the oil. So I don't know, maybe we'll find some some gunk under there or something like that, but yeah, I can't really find anything. We'll, we may as well have a little look together while we're here, eh? Hmm, there we go, Sport. So I did my second look with my YouTube mode on. And YouTube Dan's managed to find a problem. Well, that's good, that, isn't it? But look at these, I mean, they all look like they want changing, don't they? So, it's kind of fitting up there. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, there's a little drip, isn't there? Sounds like leaking a bit of coolant then. So, perhaps it's leaking a bit of coolant and turned itself off because it got hot, maybe? I don't know. But, I mean, I'm glad there's still some water in it because it's obviously not leaked that much, so there's nothing in it. No obvious signs of a nasty business here. So I was worried maybe that, that thermostat pipe might have been might have been off. But it's all good. Not too sure if that's just a red herring finding that clip. Obviously it's something that needs changing, but I don't think it's related. It might be related, but I don't think it's what caused my uh, my car to turn off and then not start again. That was a thing, like I was cranking it and it, it, it wasn't starting up, so it was, it was dead. Maybe it was just, I can't see how it would have been low on fuel because I was just driving on the road with road tires on. Sometimes when it's on track, when it gets below a third, It'll start fuel surging and things, but that's with sticky tyres are in high seas into corners. Just driving about on the road, you shouldn't have those issues, so... Don't think it's fuel. Well, the oil's pretty good, so it's not that... Well, thankfully, I guess. Uh, this video's not really gone the way I thought it would, because I thought that it'd be you know, more to it, especially just getting the car out of the garage. I thought that was going to be a task. Uh, that was nice and easy, obviously I drove out because the car started up, and it seems pretty fine. So, I mean, obviously there is things to do because we need to have a look at those um, those clips and probably do a bit of a, a refresh on the cooling system, just the clips and the, the hoses and stuff like that. But uh, why is it? if it wasn't running when we brought it up, if it, if, it, if it was still failing to start, then you know, I'd be I'd not be more worried. That's how I expected it to go. I expected it to not be running, and then you know we'd we'd find out why it's not running or try and find out. But now we've we've got the car running and we don't know why it's running, but that's all right. Maybe it just wanted to, uh, just wanted some attention, didn't it? That's what it was. It was kicking out a little bit of fuss. So that, you know, hold off the advert for now, Dan, and then you know, maybe we'll do some stuff. But yeah, a bit of anti-climax to that, because I thought it was going to be fucked. I thought there'd be something interesting to show, but turns out my car's just playing games with me. So that's the way it is. Right, I'm gonna get this away, get the car tidied away, and then I guess, I don't know. Hi right, guys, so sorry about that. I thought it was gonna be a more interesting video, and given the frequency of videos, you know, I did one yesterday, I did one today, maybe this is too much, maybe I should let a bit of time go between until I've got something actually interesting rather than thinking there might be something interesting. But I mean, I've been thinking about this for about three weeks as the car's been parked up. I've been, obviously, I've not looked at the car, but my head's been saying, all right, it could be this, it could be this, it could be that, it could be this, and then, it seems all right, so I don't know if to take that as a win or a... Well, obviously I'll take it as a win, because, you know, I was, obviously, once you get deep into thinking, I was thinking about all the stuff that I could do, and it's like, fucking hell, it's never going to get rid of it, am I? But it seems fine, so I guess we'll just, you know, save it for another day. Get that cool and stuff all sorted out. Because um, there's no point. And now I know there's something wrong with that, we'll have to fix that, and then we can try it again, go out for a drive and see. So I guess that'll be another video. Yeah, another video. Cooling system on the MR2, but it's gonna stay there for a little while, just for now. 
no, uh, no purchase has been made. I actually had a quick word with the MR2, just, just as I was taking it off a ramp. I was like, why are you doing this? I was like, oh, I just want to stay. But I said, no, oh, I don't know. I said, you know, if you want to stay, then you're gonna to have to get all these people on YouTube to support you and, you know, give you loads of likes and thumbs up and subscribes. And he says, all right, then well, if people want to subscribe, then they know where I am. So there you go. All right, so that's all from today. Hopefully it's been something worth watching. At least you got to see some of my cars. I mean, I like making these videos because I get to get two of my cars in one video. That's a, well, three of them in one video. That's the 75%, that's a immaculate. It's a fucking, oh God, Jesus Christ, full house. Uh, I'll see you next weekend, probably. Ta-ra.